Welcome sports fans across the country. This is a special hello from Scoreboard, Minnesota. This is the Super Bowl wrap-up show. Good evening Viking fans. Fuzzy. Heck it is almost Monday morning. But it is still February 7th, 2010, Super Bowl Sunday. We are pushing towards midnight Eastern Standard Time. Fuzzy and I, Bosty Bostwick welcome you to our studios at Land Shark Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida. This season for the Vikings has always been about Mission Miami. Nothing less would have been satisfactory to us Viking fans. Today the Vikings faced off against the New England Patriots in Super Bowl 44. The game was played at Miami Gardens, Land Shark, Stadium where they added huge, extension, seats to the north and south end and at today's Super Bowl we set a world record for a sporting event with the attendance figure of 545,433. That is an amazing, out of this world figure, and beyond that fuzzy, the Nielsen viewing figures are in, and they estimate that there were over 7.8 billion viewers tuned into to Super Bowl 44. Another world record. Fuzzy, the whole world was and is watching. Bosti that is also an amazing, astronomical figure. In this wrap-up show of Super Bowl 44, we will try to keep the drama high here as we recreate the excitement of Super Bowl 44. The big question we will answer is did Brett Favre lead Viking Nation to the promised land? We will answer that extremely important question. But Bosti, I love American football. You, Yanks, know how to put on a great sporting event while playing the real game of football. And Fuzzy, you and I were there live. We will give you the final stats and you will view replays as it happened in real time. Fuzzy, let's get started with the first Viking touchdown as it happened in real time. Here it is. The Vikings come out of the huddle with Brett Favre at quarterback. It is the Vikings' first play from scrimmage. The Vikings have never won a Super Bowl. Brett Favre takes the snap from center and takes a quick five-step drop. He is looking out to the left. Brett Favre dramatically turns to his right and flicks a screen pass to Adrian Peterson, the league's leading rusher. Peterson has great blocking in front of him. This is looking good. The downfield blocking is tremendous. At his own 25-yard line Adrian has only one pursuer left, it is the safety of the Patriots. Adrian jukes left and then right. I think the safety broke both of his ankles, and he lost his jock. Adrian hurdles over the empty jock and Peterson has a head of steam up now. Nobody is going to catch him. The 50. The 40. The 30. 20. 10. And a Vikings touchdown. An 87-yard touchdown on a screen pass from Brett Favre to Adrian Peterson. Fuzzy, we have only played for 33 seconds. Bosti just like that, a blink of the purple eye, and the score is Vikings 6 and Patriots 0. Back to our studio, where we are live. Now we will move to later in the game. It was the middle of the second quarter when this happened. The Vikings come out of the huddle with the ball on their own 39-yard line. It is first and ten. Brett Favre directs traffic and lines the Vikings up in shotgun formation. Brett Favre one-hands the high snap from center and is looking deep down the left sideline. Brett Favre shoots a 50-yard bullet down the sideline towards Percy Harvin who is streaking into the open. It's looking mighty good. Harvin spears the ball out of the air at the 20-yard line and just like that Harvin goes in untouched for the Vikings' fourth passing touchdown of the day. That was like watching a ballet. It was that beautiful. I could almost cry. It's another F bomb from B-52 flame throwing Brett Favre. A cold connection from Brett Favre to the Comet streaking Percy Harvin. Back to our studio, where we are live. Fuzzy, with that play the Vikings moved ahead 27-3. Purple Pride had taken over the game. The Vikings would kick the extra point and score another passing touchdown before halftime for a smashing 35-3 lead. 
It already looked like the Farvapalooza had added the final whipping cream, but Brett Favre would add the cherry on top of the Sunday in the second half. Yes, Bosti, Brett Favre fever was at 108 degrees Fahrenheit and rising. Fuzzy, we take our final highlight from much later in the game. It was midway through the fourth quarter when this happened. Brett Favre comes over center on the Patriots' own eight-yard line. It is third and goal. Brett Favre has that look and swagger about him. Brett Favre takes the snap from center and in one quick laser pass, hits his tight end, shiny cone, for an easy touchdown. Brett Favre made it look so easy. That is Brett Favre's eighth touchdown pass of the day. Amazing. Yippee. The Vikings take an insurmountable lead of 67-3 over the Patriots. Back to our studio, where we are live. After the touchdown Brett Favre would leave the game to a rousing standing ovation that lasted over four minutes. The Vikings scored the most points ever and they won by the largest margin ever. The Vikings won by a final score of 74-13. Boss to you for whatever it is worth, Brett Favre's performance in Super Bowl 44 was the greatest performance I have ever witnessed in my life. I second that fuzzy, and I will raise the stakes. Brett Favre's performance was the greatest of all time. Brett Favre completed 46 out of 48 passes for the game. The Viking receivers dropped two passes. Brett Favre's 737 yards passing is a new NFL record for one game. And a new Super Bowl record. Brett Favre ended the game with a passer rating of 236.36. The first quarterback in NFL history to have an over a 200 quarterback rating. Bosti, that is an impossible figure. Can it be true? Brett Favre besides winning the league MVP. He also won the Super Bowl MVP. Fuzzy do you think his trophy case is big enough? When Brett Favre raised that glorious, Vince Lombardi trophy over his head after the game. Yeah. Brett Favre lifted the chrome trophy through clouds of smoke and fireworks, and paper confetti, and falling balloons. It was a beautiful thing. One would swear that for a moment Brett Favre levitated. I swear on a Bible that Brett Favre's feet were a yard or two above the ground. Fuzzy, Brett Favre's performance was a miracle. Bosti, put in an emergency call to the Pope. Fuzzy, do you believe in miracles? Bosti, after today, yes, I do. Yes, I do. This is the greatest day in NFL history. Maybe the greatest day on earth. Bosti, it was and is the greatest day on earth and super bowl 44 was the greatest show on earth ever